You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Princess Tree, Polonia tomentosa. Princess Tree looks unkempt in early spring. Smells wonderful when its flowers bloom. Has a broad open crown in the summer and early fall is covered with flower buds and seed capsules in late fall, and shows an easily recognized silhouette in the winter. The leaves are typically 18 to 24 inches across. They are quite impressive when you stand underneath a young tree. Leaf margins are variable. A young princess tree's leaves show toothed margins. The margins may also be somewhat lobed, or even entire. Newly emerging leaves are covered with short, soft hairs, which is called tomentose. Mature leaves retain the tomentose aspect, particularly on their underside. Although the leaf margins may be inconsistent, princess tree leaves are consistent with their leaf blade's heart-shaped base and the blade's long pointed tip. Notice how emerging leaves grow across from each other along the stem. Princess tree leaves have an opposite leaf arrangement. Looking down onto a young princess tree, observe how the topmost leaves are opposite, and the next set below them is also opposite, but at a right angle to the topmost leaves. This is referred to as a decussate leaf arrangement. We can see this also when we look from below. Observe how large each leaf's petiole is. This is needed to support the large blade portion of the leaf when it matures. From underneath, we can easily see that each leaf has three to five prominent palmate veins, with pinnate veins extending from those central veins. New leaves and branches sprout from leaf nodes. They may also sprout from older portions of the tree's trunk. In the fall, still green leaves drop from the tree. They do not develop a fall color. During winter, you may find large brown leaves on the ground, along with old seed capsules. Remember that word tomentose? Young princess tree stems and petioles are covered with the fine fuzzy hairs. As the bright green stems age, they grow easily observed white lenticels along their length. The lenticels become prominently raised bumps. If you break a leaf's petiole, you can see the hollow center. By the way, a broken stem smells awful, and the tomato stem feels slippery or even slimy. Break an older stem and look for the pith, the spongy matter in the center and you may not find any, or you may see a chambered pith. The trunk of an older princess tree, which was cut down, also shows the hollow center. Here's what princess tree bark looks like. By studying these images, you can get a feel for how the bark looks with its aged lenticels, a hint of reddish-orange color in the shallow furrows, and how branches arise from the trunk. Let's study the princess tree's annual life cycle, beginning in the summer. These leaves have slightly lobed margins. The tree also has green seed capsules. The ovoid capsules have a rough exterior, almost like the capsules have lenticels on them. This mass of green seed capsules weighs the branch down. A closer view of the seed capsules, with their brown caps attaching them to the tree. Let's pull off a seed capsule and break it open to see how the seeds look. Wow, look at all those seeds! Each capsule may have 2,000 seeds. Each pinhead-sized seed is surrounded by a thin membrane, a wing, to help with wind dispersal. Seed capsules turn from green to brown as the seeds mature. The capsule then splits open to release the seeds. 
The tiny black thread is what's left of the flower style. These are prior year's dried seed capsules. Notice how the stem is also brown and dotted with the white lenticels. Brown seed capsules persist on princess tree through the winter and into the next year. They may also break off and persist on the ground. You can find broken seed capsule husks littering the ground too. In midsummer, princess tree begins growing its inflorescences for next year, even while new leaves grow at the tip of the branch. Each creamy inflorescence arises from a leaf node. As the weeks go by, the tan inflorescence matures with separate flower buds. The flower buds become light brown. Each fuzzy, or tomentose, flower bud grows at the end of a pedicel. In late summer, the inflorescences rise above the large leaves. Let's grab a few flower buds to study closely. Breaking one open, we can see the flower parts in miniature. This looks like the petals along the perimeter, and the anthers on the stamens, and the ovary. The next spring, we become aware that the princess tree has some purple color in its branches. Get as close as you can to the tree and look up. Use binoculars if you have them. Yes, the tree is blooming. The fuzzy brown sepals of the flower bud split apart. The purple petals grow and push out from the brown sepals. Petals grow longer. The petals expand and the flower begins to open. Flower petals split into five lobes and curve backwards. The fragrant light purple flower is now open for pollinators to visit. Looking back down to the ground, we can find those old seed capsule clusters and broken husks. Here's a fresh flower recently blown from the tree. We can take it apart to study. The two-inch flower is funnel-shaped, with grooves along one side of the flower. Even the princess tree flower has velvety fine hairs. The species name of Tomentosa is certainly appropriate. The flower's opening has furrows, which are a light yellow color. Looking down the throat of the flower, we can see the grooves leading to the flower's center. Deep inside are some anthers. Tear away some of the surrounding petals, and now we see the stamens, as well as the light yellow lines along the white inside of the petals. Here are the filaments, and the anthers. Let's separate the petals from the five-parted brown cap of sepals. Now we can see the pistil. The ovary is the cone at the base of the pistil while the long, thin tissue is the style leading down to the ovary. Flowers bloom, like popcorn, with no obvious sequence within each inflorescence. Princess tree's inflorescent shape is referred to as a panicle. After blooming, the flower petals fall off and the pistil remains. Each flower's style extends above the brown cap of former sepals. This is the time when princess tree's leaves begin to grow for the new season. In early summer, the white ovaries have turned green, and the styles may shrivel and drop off. These small green ovaries will swell to become the large ovoid seed capsules. Princess tree, native to China, is an invasive tree in the Appalachian and Mid-Atlantic region of the United States. I can say from personal experience that it is difficult to get it to die completely. After cutting down a tree, new shoots arise from the roots. Break off this new shoot when it is already several feet tall, and one week later, more new shoots arise at the base of the trunk. Keep breaking off the new green shoots, and two years later, the roots continue to sprout new leaves. Notice the stump is now rotting. This was another medium-sized princess tree before it was cut down. 
Look at all the new growth, which is at least eight feet tall at this point. This branch was broken off from the trunk sometime last fall. Observe how it is growing new leaves, even though it is no longer attached to the tree, nor to any roots. I found some new princess trees growing in a gravel parking area. I decided to photograph one of the trees for two years, just to track its growth. Here's the series of images over that two-year period. Finally, I pulled it up to remove all the roots and hopefully not have that tree continue growing. Even though Princess Tree has really cool looking fuzzy flower buds and pretty fragrant flowers and impressively large leaves, it's a challenge to eliminate this invasive tree from a native plant environment. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Paulonia tomentosa, also known as princess tree. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of princess tree, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.